Hello guys. Welcome to another episode for Agent Force for everyone. In this episode we are going to talk about what are pre-chat fields on AI agent. Pre-chat fields are basically a part of embedded service deployment which is responsible to deploy the service agent to the community site. Now there are two types of pre-chat fields visible and hidden. In our previous episodes we have seen how we pass the data from our customer community to the agent with the help of pre-chat hidden fields so in this episode we are going to talk about the visible fields if you want to know what are hidden fields you can watch this video and i have explained step by step process how to pass the data with the help of hidden fields to the agent now i have a use case i have a agent for service agent which i assume is deploy on the customer community now whenever a customer is going to start a conversation with the agent i am going to collect some essential details from the customer first before i allow him or her to start conversation with the agent so that's how the pre chat fields plays a important role and collect all the informations from the user so now we are going to add some pre chat fields in our agent for that there are couple of steps we need to perform first we need to add the pre chat fields on embedded service deployment then we need a lightning web component to get the logged in user details then we also need some javascript code to pass the data to pass the user data to the agent then we are going to create some parameters in the messaging channel so that we get the values in our pre chat input fields now before i dive into the implementation let me show you whether the agent is actually deployed on the customer community so for that i am going to my contacts and then i will choose one of the contact because i have already enabled the customer user for this contact in the previous episode so i am going to use the same contact in this episode as well and then i am going to log in to the experience site from this user so i am successfully logged in as a community user and i can see my agent is available here so if i click on the agent perfect the agent has joined and then it gives us the welcome message now my requirement is whenever a customer is start a conversation with the agent instead of showing the welcome message the agent should ask a couple of questions to the customer like their first name last name email what is the purpose for having this conversation all of these details and then they will also choose a uh, okay i confirm and then i i mean use the terms and conditions and everything so to implement that we are going to start with adding some pre chat fields on the embedded service deployments so for that i am going to my org and set up and i am going to embedded service deployments service agent so this is the one where we need to set the pre chat so right now it is inactive because right now we don't have any fields set up so let's edit the pre chat now as i already explained in my previous episode there are two types of pre chat fields visible and hidden in the previous episode we have enable some hidden fields pass the data from the customer community to the agent today we are going to design some visible pre chat fields so that whenever a customer is having a conversation with the agent they will first enter their details and then those details will be captured to the salesforce in the messaging session record and then they can start having conversations before i create the visible pre chat fields let me activate the pre chat feature and then from here the drop down of add i can select the number of fields i want to display so let's say i will select some first name i will mark it as required then last name also required then email required and subject which is also required and we can also create multiple fields so there is there is a custom field we can create uh we can create text field we can create drop down checkbox phone number email etc so right now i am not going to do any further the four fields are enough so i am going to save and don't forget don't forget to publish the embedded service deployment so that once we publish the changes will be reflected to the community agent and then we will see our fields over there so i'm just waiting for the email to confirm that the changes are saved yes i got the email and now if i go back and end this and refresh the page so this is my agent so as soon as i click now you can see we have four fields available 
uh, and if i start conversation without entering any details it says all the fields are required because we marked all the fields as required so now let's say if i say ankit gangwani um, my email and test and then if i click start conversation then at this point the agent has successfully joined and we saw the welcome message so that means we have completed step number one where we added the pre-chat fields to the embedded service deployment now let me close this again yep and let me start the conversation again now i entered my name a random email or a subject but the logged in user is some is something different so what i want is as soon as the customer is logged into this community and they are opening this chat i want to see some def default values in the first name last name and email so basically i want to see their first name and last name and their email already pre-populated so they so then they can just type the subject what is the purpose of having this conversation and they can start the conversation so let's see how we achieve this data to be pre-populated so for that we need to create a lightning web component to get the logged in user details i have already created that lightning web component in the previous episode so if you have seen those episodes you are very well aware what this component is doing if you have not seen that episode no worries i am going to explain this component again so this is a very basic component which is importing the logged in user id and some fields which we need first name last name email we are also importing some methods some standard methods like get record get field value because we are using to fetch the email first name and last name now we have the user id with the help of user id we are calling get record get record will gives us the data if there is no error assuming once we have the data then we are finding all the values in first name last name and email and we are firing a event so this event we are firing so basically this component we are going to drag in the experience page where we have our agent so i'm going to drag that component here uh, there is no ui in the component so if i go and show you the html there is no ui so that means there will be ui less component this will be a ui less component just working behind the scene to get the user logged in user details so once we drag the component the component will have the user id with the help of user id we get first name last name email and we are consolidating all three values and firing an event now let's see whether we have our component already deployed or not so for that i am going to my builder my community builder and if we look at here carefully we should be seen our component somewhere so you can see the embedded messaging component i have already deployed in the previous episode so i don't need to deploy this component again now i assume this part is clear that we are firing an event now who is going to receive the event which i will explain in the next step for now just understand that we are firing the event with first name last name and email that's it so that means we have created our lightning web component and then we find the user details now we need to add the javascript code to send the data so this is the part where we need to write some code so this code will receive the event which we fired from the lightning web component and this code will also receive the event find get the values of first name last name and email and also pass the value to the embedded service deployment so that those values will be pre-populated to the pre-chat fields so let's see so for that i need to go to settings advanced and then edit head markup and then i need to write a javascript code here to capture the event to pass the data to the embedded service deployment in the form of visible fields so for that i have a small piece of code which i am going to use this and i will also show you the article which salesforce has designed So this is the article where you can use to understand use pre-chat api to pass the data to the experience side from the experience side to agent so basically this is the lightning web component where they are they are doing the same thing they are fetching the first name last name and email and they are also passing the first name they are so this is the add event listener where the event is listening if the event has been fired from anywhere so once the event listens successfully then they are passing the data to the embedded service deployment and you can see they are passing as a set visible pre-chat fields in the previous episode we have used set hidden pre-chat fields because we don't want the user to see what data we are passing from him to agent 
but now we are allowing user to enter the details and then we are passing the data to the embedded service deployment so let's go back to the code so yes i am adding the event listener the user info is the name of my event and if i show you here the user info is the name of the event which i am firing so the the event name needs to be matched so once we have the event received we are getting first name last name email and i am also printing those which i will show you and then i am going to pass three values to the embedded service deployment with first name last name and email and i am also printing that the values are successfully passed to the embedded service deployment so let me save this and publish this now after successfully publish this i am going back to the community and then i will do a reload so if i click my agent i can see the first name last name and then the emails are populated now uh, subject is not populated because we haven't set any subject and if i show you the console logs so you can see these are the variables which has passed to the embedded service deployment so that means we have done our third step which is add the javascript code to send the data now if we start conversation uh, we just need to require the subject so let's say test subject and start conversation so we can see the agent has successfully joined now i will do one more modification so let's say if i start the agent again i still have these fields editable so that anyone can log into the community uh, and they can change the first name last name or email which i want to prevent so for that i am going to the experience builder again go to advanced head edit head markup and then there is a variable called is editable by user i will say false because i don't want the user to edit those fields instead i want the system to populate those fields by default and then i will publish cool uh, let me refresh this again so now if i start the conversation now you can see the first name last name email all these fields are disabled no one can edit it's just the subject field which we need to populate so let's say test and then i can start having the conversation with the agent now in the last step we are going to create the custom parameters in the messaging channel this step is not required to do because we are not going to pass this data to the agent the purpose of today's video is just to show how we can use the pre chat visible fields in order for a customer to collect the info information and then having a, having the chat with the agent but i will still go and show you how to create those parameters so that you can understand that you can also pass this data to your database so for that i am going to the messaging channel uh this is my messaging channel and this is the custom parameter so in the previous episode we have created some custom parameter parameter mappings so i will create a custom parameter so let's say the field name i have is first name so i'm just going to show you how we create these fields i'm not going to create all three fields instead i'll show you how to create a single field so that you can work on it and then whatever your business use case is based on that you can create your mappings so i entered the same exact name in the parameter name and then the api name will auto set and then the channel variable name will auto set data type should be string and this should be 50 why we have created this we have created this because uh, assume we don't create this so right now when we start this agent we have this values populated because we have the lightning web component which is getting the data and then we pass the data to the embedded service deployment that is going to set the values by default now what if we need to pass the data from embedded service deployment to messaging channel and from messaging channel to the our flow the omni channel flow and then from our flow to agent so that's why we need to create this parameters here so that messaging channel will receive the values and then work on it accordingly so we created this first name now we need to create the mapping if we need to pass this data to our flow which flow this flow service agent route route to work this flow is basically responsible to route the work from the message from the customer's message to the agent so let me show you how we create the mappings here so let's say i select the parameter first name so whatever the value is coming in the first name i need to pass the same value to my flow so here i need to give the name the api name of the flow so let's say i will choose first name 
and then I will go in the flow and create the exactly same name as an input parameter so that the flow will also receive the values. So I'm not going to create anything in flow because we have already done all the steps in our previous episode. So you can go ahead and watch that episode if you want to learn how to pass the data to the flow and to update. So that's how we create our custom parameters in messaging channel. The purpose of today's video is just to show what are pre chat fields. What is the difference between hidden and visible fields? How to get the data by default into the pre chat fields and how to start a conversation after that. So that's it for today's video. Uh, if you have any question or any concern, do comment or maybe you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and please subscribe the channel. And if you like it, please like the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.